In the last video, we did a quick review of sine, cosine, and tangent, and using it to solve for the side of a right triangle. Now, we're going to do that again, except we're going to do it five more times, and we're going to do it much more quickly than the last video. So please do make sure you have watched the last couple of videos on this topic before you jump into this one, because if you just jump into these problems without having seen the previous videos, you're going to be really confused. So let's start with number two. So here we are at number two. What do we have? And what do we need? Take a few minutes, pause the video. I'll see you in a moment. So it looks to me like what we have is the side adjacent to this 25 degree angle. It's adjacent because it's actually part of the angle. See, it's one of the two angles that actually, or one of the two sides that actually makes that angle. So we have the adjacent leg. What are we looking for? And we're looking for, well, we're looking for X, which is the opposite leg. And the hypotenuse, we don't really care about at all. So that's step one. Step one is list out what do you need, what do you have. Very important step. I know it doesn't seem that important, but it's one of the best ways to keep yourself from making careless mistakes that come from going too fast. So we need to know what um, ratio we're going to use. And to find that out, we're going to go back to Sokotoa, Sokotoa. Sokotoa, Sokotoa. No? No. Might be borderline blasphemous. Okay. We have, let's use a different color. We have adjacent, we need opposite. Which one of these has both? The only one that has both what we've got and what we need is tangent. Tangent is the only one that has both opposite and adjacent. If we knew what the hypotenuse was, then we could use one of the other ones and it would work just as well. But because we don't care about the hypotenuse, we don't really care about any ratio that has the hypotenuse in it. Okay, setting up our ratios. Tangent of 25 degrees equals Opposite over adjacent. Be careful. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Don't, uh, don't get those backwards. Opposite is x. Adjacent is 10. I have x divided by 10, so I'm going to multiply by 10 on both sides. And I get x equals 10 times the tangent of 25 degrees. I'll zoom in on my calculator here. Now I'm going to use a different calculator for every one of these problems so that you know how to do this using a variety of calculators. Okay, so here I'm using this, uh, this graphing calculator. And I just plug in the, the um, numbers and symbols as I see them. So I'm going to say 10 times tangent of 25. You don't have to close the parentheses, but I always do. And then I need to check also, am I in degree mode? Remember from the last video, you want to be in degree mode because we're dealing with degrees. So if I wasn't in degree mode, I would have to go into a menu and change that. 4.66. Now, it can be very tempting to go through these very quickly once you start seeing the pattern, but it can be easy to mix up multiplication and division or flip something over, so do be careful. Let's move on. 
Number three. What do we have? What do we need? Take a minute, pause the video, take it all the way to the end if you can. Ready, set, go. Looks to me like what we've got is the hypotenuse. And what we're looking for is this adjacent side. It's adjacent once again because it is actually part of that angle. To figure out what to do next, we need to know what ratio it is. So it's time once again for so ka toa soka toa boom 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 too much too much we've got the hypotenuse we need the adjacent the only one with both of those is cosine cosine of 39 degrees equals Remember the order, adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Once again, I'm going to multiply both sides by the denominator. I get x equals 7 times the cosine of 39 degrees. And now I'm actually not going to use this calculator this time because most of you don't have a calculator like mine. So we're going to we're going to turn this one off. And we're going to look at um an iPhone calculator. Okay? Cuz a lot of you have an iPhone calculator. So here is an, uh, a standard scientific iPhone calculator. You get it by turning your phone sideways. All right? You can see the sine, cosine, and tangent buttons. Everything's fine. Now, in the very, very bottom corner here is this deg and rad button. That will get you back and forth between degrees and radians. You want to make sure that in the window up top, it says degree or deg. So it says rad right now, so I'm going to change it. We're now in degrees. Okay. Now, going back to the whiteboard, we want to do 7 times cosine 39 degrees. Now, iPhone calculators are different. You don't say cosine of 39 degrees. Instead, you say 39, and then you hit the cosine button, and it tells you what cosine of 39 degrees is. Okay. And this gets even more confusing when you try to multiply. So let me take you through, let me take you through the correct way to write or to input seven times the cosine of 39 degrees into the, um, into the iPhone. All right. I think I'm going to do two problems with the iPhone calculator because it can be really confusing. So seven times cosine 39 degrees, I would say seven times. Now be careful, you say 39 for 39 degrees, then you hit cosine, then you hit equals. When you hit cosine, it just calculated the cosine of 39 degrees, then you hit equals and it does the multiplication. So we get Hey, look, this one's almost a 45, 45, 90 triangle. That's too bad. If this had been 45 degrees, then this side would be 8, and this side would be 8 times the square root of 2, no problem. No such luck. 46 degrees. Okay. What do we have? What do we need? Pause the video. Ready, set, go.
we have the opposite leg. Notice that here's the 46 degree angle. That opposite side is not a part of that angle. That's how you know it's the opposite. And it looks like we're looking for the hypotenuse. How do we figure out which ratio we need? We turn to, here he comes, it's Sokotoa. Yes, that's right, Sokotoa is back once again. We have the opposite, we need the hypotenuse. There's only one ratio that does that for us, and that is sine. So we're going to remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and we're going to say that sine of 46 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, 8 over x. I multiply both sides by x to clear the denominator. I get x times the sine of 46 degrees equals 8. Divide both sides by the sine of 46 degrees. We get x equals 8 over sine 46 degrees. Let's go back to the iPhone calculator. 8 over sine 46 degrees. So we would say 8 divided by 46, then we hit sine, then we hit equals. All right, one more time. 8 divided by 46, then the sine button, then the equals button, 11.12. And that's our answer. We've got two more of these. Let's see how quick I can get through them. Number 11. What do we have? What do we need? You know the deal. Ready, set, go. Well, I'm not even going to bother highlighting this time. It looks to me like what we've got is the opposite leg, and what we need is the adjacent leg. It is definitely Sokotoa time again. We have the opposite, we need the adjacent, that's still tangent. We don't care about the hypotenuse. Tangent. Tangent of 38 degrees equals, remember tangent is opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 20, adjacent is x. Again, we multiply both sides by x. And again, we divide both sides by the ratio. 20 divided by tangent 38 degrees. Hey, Google, what's 20 divided by the tangent of 38 degrees? The answer is approximately 25.598833. The answer is approximately 25.6. That was pretty cool. I like being able to do that with voice. I wonder if Siri does it also. You might want to check, it out, or check that out at home. If you can just do it by voice, why even bust out a calculator? Okay, that's number 11. It's not actually number 11, but I got it from later in the worksheet.
Let's move on to our final example. What do we have? What do we need? Ready, set, go. Well, it looks to me like what we have, this is obviously the 74 degree angle right there. What we have is the adjacent leg. What we're looking for, and this one's actually a little bit tough, this X, that's the hypotenuse. This is a very skinny triangle, so it's kind of hard to tell, but the hypotenuse is always opposite the 90 degree angle. Next step, so Katoa. We have adjacent, we need hypotenuse, only one ratio has both, it's cosine. Cosine of 74 degrees is the same ratio as adjacent over hypotenuse, 19 over x. I'm just going to skip straight to the last bit. x equals 19 over cosine of 74 degrees. If you don't know how I did that little bit of algebra, just look at the last two examples again, because I did the same thing in those. Um, and for this last one, I'm going to go ahead and use um, the actual calculator on Google's website just to show you that it also is quite functional. 19 divided by cosine 74 degrees. So I'm going to go over to the Google calculator. And it works just like um, my graphing calculator. It also, I believe, works just the same on an Android calculator. So instead of having to do some crazy backwards stuff, um, you can just plug it in directly. 19 divided by cosine 74. 19 divided by cosine 74 equals 110. Now that seems way wrong. That can't possibly be right. 110 is, is, is hugely disproportionate. Oh, I see what I did wrong. I'm in radians. See how radians is highlighted and degrees is not? So I'm going to tap that to get to degrees. And I'm going to try my calculation again. And I get 68.93. That makes much more sense. X is approximately 68.93. So there you have a grand total of six example problems. As usual, you should leave your um, questions either in the comments of this video or you should email them to me and I will do my best to address them. You can also check out my office hours. I should be starting at about 4 p.m. And uh, until next time, thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Class dismissed.